Good morning, everyone. You are tuned into twitch.tv slash bedsores, coming to you live from my sick couch in the chronic illness autonomous zone. I'm your host, Alyssa, here with my co-host and transcriptionist, Earl. Let's get some rest today. Bow! Welcome to Panic Bomber, a 1994 game by Aiding and Hudson Soft, based on the Bomberman franchise of games. It's Columns! So, uh, let's get it going. Okay. Name, Bottom. Character, Weak. Let's go. Oh, this song is burned into my memory. Red bombs clear. Level up. I assume that means the speed goes up. Power up. Okay. So you always want to leave one side open so that you can just make all your garbage go die. There is not two-way rotation. The garbage rises from the bottom on your opponent's side. Baseball! Kudin. Character. Slightly weak. We have a little face emoting how the character is supposedly feeling. Reject industrialized society on the existence of this game. Call that Unabomber Man. Pretty good, thanks. Uh, for folks at home watching the video, Stream Elements just isn't working today, so I can't show you the chat messages. I promise I'm not sitting alone in my room making up things that people are saying to me to riff off of. I promise I'm not. I, I promise. I promise. Please help. Oops. It's me, Scatman John. I'm in the stream, shitposting from beyond the grave. Now, don't try to make all your chat messages messages that you would never say, because then people at home will never believe me. And uh, Justin Timberlake is here to say that I'm looking really good today. Thank you, Justin. Ban Justin Timberlake. You're hearing this? Oh. Bururu. Pile in corner. Okay. This game is smooth as fuck. I'm really enjoying the textures here. All of the soundtracks call back to the Bomberman motif in a very cute way. Really well composed. A lot of the sound design is so delightfully tactile. The graphics are cute, if simple. Power up, level up. Last time he lulled me into submission by making those funky noises. He got me again. Bomberman, take me by the hand, lead me to the land. That you understand. One combos don't really do anything. Okay, that's good. We've hit a wall. Reminds me of doing the beep test in PE. I don't, I don't know what that is. It's like the fitness gram pacer test things. Three of those f uh, four words don't mean anything to me. And one of those four words used to mean something to me, but doesn't mean anything to me anymore. A trick I picked up uh, is that anytime somebody's like, have you tried yoga or have you tried uh, exercise for your disability? Uh, you can just sadly say it's contraindicated and people will be like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they don't know what that means. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Oh. We got lucky. My gastrointestinal tract woke me up at 5.45. You have to find another- Sir Jay, we need to work on your imaging for that- that chat message. Like, you could say, Oh, my gastrointestinal tract woke me up at 5.45. Mm, you could say that. Or you could say, um... My ass sounded the alarm.
my furnace had an important message for me. My innards were screaming. Jay says, okay. Pasu, character, slightly fast. I had to blast ass at ass o'clock. It's pretty good. I'm trying to sleep, but the farting of my ass keeps alerting my conscious mind. Very good, Scrig. I'd like to offer a regular PSA. Undertale has ruined this for people. Uh, so I'm here to remind you again. You almost never need to use the word leitmotif. It's almost always motive. Just say motive or theme. Leitmotif is a particular thing. Unfortunately for all of us, Undertale is a Gesamtkunstwerk. But we don't need to talk about it right now. Well, we all know what a Gesamtkunstwerk is, so I'm going to carry on. You need no, give me a little bit longer. Yeah, baby. Big bomb, big bomb, big bomb. Boom. Are the Lord of the... You don't know what a Gesamtkunstwerk is, Skrig. Skrig, I respect your intelligence. You don't know what a Gesamtkunstwerk is. And the answer is no. It's a squares and rhombuses thing. You can always just say motive or theme. You can always just say it. It's fine. You don't need to use this high... What the fuck is this rock? That's just a rock, man! Hey, Bomberman is here? Fuck. I meant Mega Man. I meant Mega Man. I meant fucking Mega Man, and I messed up. It's good that Wagner is dead. And it's good that people often don't try to do everything themselves when they're making art anymore. But Liz, do you know what brings me an absolute delight to say? If it's related to Homestuck, you're timed out for the rest of the stream. No, don't time me out. I sent that before you said it. My mercy knows no bounds. I hope you know that. Oh, we got it. Yeah, Garrulous, we're, we're fighting. This character's name is Funya, and they're tenacious. It is a little weird that the background images are the same for both sides. Do they designate, like, progression? Either way, they progress through the same set of images for both characters, but I think that's cute. Alright, I've charged up my big bomb, and it's not in time. Yeah, the character portrait block blocking the field isn't great, but I like that little guy. She verk on my kunst till I gesamst. That's nice, Shade. Good morning, Shade. This does have some shades of... And you're gonna... This is gonna be weird, but bear with me. This has shades of Senno to me. The whole screen sort of bombing and clearing mechanic reminds me of it. Like, it's columns versus pipes, so that makes it different, but otherwise, it's kind of, to me, doing a similar thing. Is mayonnaise is a Gesamtkunstwerk? Don't make me have to ban the tomb Gesamtkunstwerk. I'm sorry for all of the poggers, columns gamers out there who are watching this in dismay. I can never be as great as you. Why do you play such a shitty game? Hey, Liz, can you sneeze? I've got a really solid bit I think will kill. <laughs> Guess I'm Kunstferk. Die! Bake bake. Fast drop. Damn, we got Toho characters in here? That's awesome. The game helpfully waits before you place your next piece before sending you the garbage that you've received, which is pretty good. Gooey telling me to snort mustard. Why don't you do that instead? Yeah, great fucking character portrait right here. Deeply evocative. Aren't we all just... at the end of the day? So, this is a color matching stacker, which means that for some people, this is just completely inaccessible. There are a lot of kinds of color blindness in the world, and I don't know most of them. I wanted to try running this game through a custom shader by one trash boat. It's called Dalton Eyes. Uh, a version of this game was on the Virtual Boy, I think. Yeah. 
Will this reach? Yes. Very good. Oh! That guy with his tongue out and eyes rolling around like a hamster tuckled out in his wheel after a long run. That's me, baby. Hello, Daggett. Name Peggy. Character strong. You look at Peggy and you know that's a strong. I don't know if this filter is helping anybody, so I'm going to turn it off, but I wanted to say that that's a tool in our toolkit. Another different song. Sounds great. I love how I am transparently simply making it through this far due to luck. I'm not developing any skills right now. Daggett, it seems like all of these characters are also you. Mr. B Bomberman going to school with his little cap and bag. That's me. Okay. Dag contains multitudes. No, he doesn't. Is Daggett Gesamkunstwerk? No. Hey, Liz here. Uh, the internet just went out for pretty much the entire city that I live in. So, <laughs> I'm gonna stop streaming. Uh, this game has gorgeous presentation. You know, I still don't really get columns, but I can tell that this is a good game. A delight. The back and forth of the bomb mechanic taken from Bomberman does add just enough of a twist to make it distinct. Um, what a gorgeous game. Great job. This has been twitch.tv slash bedsores, coming to you live from my sick couch in the chronic illness autonomous zone. We've been your host, Alyssa, here with our co-host and transcriptionist, Daryl. Take care and do your best.